Hello, you're watching Exo Photography. My name is Daniel. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, cameras from ZWO and QHY, uh, which has the new IMX 571 chip. I have been using this Attic 460 camera for, I believe, five or six years now. Um, quite happy with it. Uh, it has an amazing quantum efficiency and a lovely dark current. Uh, I basically don't need darks when I am calibrating this camera in PixInsight. Uh, but I need, well need, <laughs> you know how this is guys. I want a bigger chip and the IMX is a APS uh, crop sensor size. Uh, and it's at also at an attractive price point. Um, so a full frame is a full frame. Uh, that would be lovely, but they are very expensive. So this is somewhat to the higher medium uh, range. Uh, interesting cameras, both of them. So ZWO has been in the game quite a while now. Uh, they started out with these kinds of cameras, planetary cameras and guide cameras. This particular one is the ASI-178, which I use for planetary and uh, solar photography. QHY has been in the game for cooled DSO cameras quite a while now. Um, both of them are, well, great cameras. I've seen a lot of pictures. No fuss about this. Uh, you can't go wrong with either one. It's basically the same question you ask if you want to buy a DSLR camera. Are you going to use Canon or Nikon? Well, whatever suits you the most. Uh, I'm an Nikon guy. Um, love the handle. Um, of those cameras but there are some specification that uh, that is uh, on a favor for QHY and there are some specification that favors uh, ZWO let's wait no longer uh, let's take a look at uh, those uh, paper specifications and see which one would probably suit me the most Let's take a look at the specifications. Um, I made a quick Excel sheet, um, put all the uh, specifications um, in it. Uh, and those specifications, it's not all the specifications for um, these two cameras, but those specifications that matters to me. Um, so um, this is the ZWO ASI. 2600mm versus the QHI 268mm. Uh, so both mono versions. So let's start out with the price here. Um, the ASI unit is uh, around 2,900 euros. Um, that's what I found for, uh, believe it, uh, Telescope Express uh, Telescope Service, uh, which had that price, and uh, 2,400 euros for the QHY version. Um, so that's a win for the QHY, uh, slightly cheaper. Uh, both of them use the same chip, so I won't go uh, especially deep into those specifications. But it is the Sony IMX571 chip. Uh, 26 megapixels and when they are referring to the quantum efficiency, um, ASI has uh, a 91% uh, efficiency, whereas QHI stated in several different tests I have read that it is at least 90%. In some tests with a uh, oxygen-3 filter, they have seen uh, up to 95%. So um, I am interpreting that as a close call, so both of them get one point. Now we are going to look at the full well depth and here is when it gets quite interesting. The ZWO uh, and I also emailed them asking are you going to uh, release a firmware update which allows the user to change the readout mode to uh, a possible gain a bit more full well depth or uh, a possibility to change that whereas the QHI has that already. So the QHI camera you can choose 
between, I believe it's four different readouts modes, and um, you all you always want a uh, true. Well, for starters, this is a true 16-bit camera, which allows you to a higher dynamic range uh, already from the start. So this camera is good as is. As so it um, it is a good camera, but the QHY version has the ability to bump up the full well depth before the image gets saturated. Um, so it will be interesting if ZW will release a update. Uh, I don't know even if it's possible, but it was it would be really really nice to see that one. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, internal memory. Uh, the ZWO has 256 megabytes, which is okay. Uh, each file is, be I believe that each file is about 51 megabytes. So it will easily hold image in its memory when you are shooting deep sky objects. But if you want to use this camera as a planetary camera, which it's probably not intended to, but if you have a camera which is uh, capable of taking uh, quick uh, frames, uh, shooting fast frames for planetary, you might want to have some more memory because that is going to get full if you shoot at the full resolution, which you probably don't want to do. Um, the QH1Y version has uh, one gigabyte of internal memory. It's always good to have memory, but are you do you really need one gigabyte? That's the question uh, you have to ask. But the QHY uh, gets one point for this. Let's move on with the connection. Um, the ZWO camera has an M42 connection, which is just on the brink of uh, not causing vignetting. This is one point for the QHY version. It has a M54 native and a M41 with a different uh, attachment ring to the camera, so it also wins here. But let's move on with the specifications for the length. Um, the ZW is slightly shorter and also slightly uh, lighter, and it gets one point each. And this has actually a, a huge uh, beneficial factor for me as I have a direct driven mount and I need to balance the rig. Uh, so the shorter the length and uh, the less weight, uh, the better for me. So the ZWO gets these points. So the cooling efficiency, well the Delta T is specified for minus 35 degrees for both cameras, so this is a tie. And let's go on. Um, the ZWO camera has a built-in USB hub, uh, which for me is uh, it's important. Not a, a game changer, but it is important. The QHY has just a um, a specific a render specific output for their own filter wheel. In QHI, if you want to step up the game, you would probably need to. Uh, build a USB hub into your gadgets. Uh, let's move on to the readout noise. And here the ZWO is specified to have better uh, uh, better specifications. So it's a lower readout now noise for the high gain mode. Uh, and also it's a lower noise for the low gain mode. Um, it's not very different but the ZWO is better. And also the dark current, which is uh, specified at a um, electron per second per pixel at the camera at minus 20 degrees. And also the ZWO wins. The total score is 9 points for the ZWO version and 8 points for the QHI version. It's just 1 point that uh, is uh, the difference between these two uh, at the specification, which uh, I think is important. Um, so I haven't decided which one to go with. Uh, I will read a bit more 
uh, on the coating for the glass. Uh, I read somewhere that the QHY version did not have an IR block filter, which is, uh, well, I shoot a lot of narrow bands, so I actually don't need the uh, IR blocking filter, but I believe the ZWO has that built in, so, um, but I haven't decided yet. If you are using one of these cameras, please uh, comment and share your thoughts about them. Um, what's good, what's bad, um, I would really like to know. So, this is it for this video. Thank you very much. Stay safe out there. Bye.